You are watching TFI. Greetings, salutations, welcome to DFI. So I've just been watching my uh, buddy boy Lars over from the Fusion 360 team doing some cam inside of Fusion 360. If you're doing cam inside of Fusion 360. And um, just give me an idea for a, just a quick impromptu ad hoc video. Uh, it's something that uh, Lars was, was doing and then I thought, ah, oh, it gives me an idea for a nice little tip. So uh, in Lars's video, he was showing how to create a pattern of holes in uh, Fusion 360, which um, I'll turn the volume off so you don't have to listen to him. But uh, what he was doing was creating a pattern across the uh, the board and he's clicking up, 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 up to, uh, to fill the board with uh, a hole pattern. And what happens is the hole starting here, which is a few mil off the edge of the board, he's creating a uniform pattern. And then, of course, it stops at a random point here because it's evenly spaced and it just stops where it stops. And uh, then you have to sort of adjust the, the total distance to try and get the, the final hole to not be really close to the edge of the board. And there's a way of doing this. Uh, this is a lot better than that. I'm shy more than confident that Lars is well aware of this. He was just doing that for the interests of time. Uh, whereas I'll do this in the interests of properly. <laughs> it's, it's not even an expression. But uh, right, so this is how you do it. Uh, this is a nice little tip. It's something that most people, if they actually just sat down and thought, I need to fix this problem, would figure out themselves. But it's uh, it's nice to just uh, create a video on this for your delectation and delight. So we're going to start from scratch and we're going to create a rectangular board. And we're going to put some proper parameters in here, mate. So we're going to say length equals 500 millimeters tab on the keyboard jump into the other dimension on the uh, right hand side and we'll say width equals 200 millimeters let's keep it uh, nice and round uh did i type in 20 or did i type in uh, 200 never mind let's edit that and knock that up to uh, a big fat 200 finish that sketch and we'll extrude this up by 10 mils fine go both ways okay on that and we're going to drop a sketch on the top of the board and we're going to project that entire face, drop a point down on here. This is going to be the center point of the original source hole that's going to be patterned. So escape on that dimension from here to here, and we'll call this dimension H1 equals... Let's make it non-uniform and non-round, so it's, uh, let's say, 7.25 millimeters. Because if you keep it to nice fat round numbers, you could argue it's pretty easy to do the sums yourself without doing this. And... Uh, People like to argue with people who do videos, so I'll uh, I'll make it a little bit more difficult, right? H2 equals, and we'll keep it the same, 7.25 millimeters in that direction. So those are the hole spacings. Finish that, we'll drop a hole feature on, uh, on our point, should be automatically picked up. Diameter, 5.25, and through all, and we're good to go, right? We'll just keep it just simple. I don't really need to create a tapped hole or anything like that. It'll just be a nice simple hole. And there we go, right? So the goal here is to pattern that hole across the full extent of the board, evenly spaced, but to make sure that where the final hole terminates here, it's exactly the same space as it is here. Quite a nice little trick just to sort of have in your mind whenever you do this sort of thing. So we're going to go into rectangular pattern. Select the hole. You can either select it in the graphics window, you can select it in the, the browser structure here. And direction one is going to be select the red arrow, select this edge here. Or if you want, you can select an origin axis. For example, the X axis will pattern the holes in the same direction. But it's uh, it's normally best practice to, to pick in. Well, it's, is it or is it not? It's not? The video's not really about this. But you could argue either way, you know, that if you if you use this edge, then if the board's rotated, then, um, apologies, that was my phone's WhatsApp bunging in the background. Yeah, if the board's rotated, then that edge will also rotate, so you should be fine. And if you do fill it or chamfer that edge later on, it's 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 a, it doesn't affect the pattern because it's it's hierarchical, and. Um, at the time the pattern was created, the edge existed, so it's fine. Anyway, it's not the point. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the direction one to be distance. And this is the problem, you see. If you say, right, I want 20 holes, and I want them spaced over, say, if we knew the ball was 500 mil, if you type in 500, you see the last hole drops off the edge, so you've got to go, Ugh. right, well, f let's make it four, uh, not quite right, uh, 470, and then you've got to keep going until it kind of looks about right, or you've got to get your calculator out and work out what the 7.5 minus start on the 
there's an easy way of doing this. So we'll take away that, and what you do is you go into the parameters and we'll use the length parameter, which is the length of the board, but then we'll go length minus brackets list parameters, select H1, which is the space from the edge of the board to the hole, H1, and then shift and eight for times two. Close brackets. And there you go, mate. That's how you create a nice even pattern across the board. And this whole spacing here is 7.25. And then this one here is also 7.25. If you go back into the rectangular pattern, you can increase the whole count up to 30, 50, until inventor starts kicking off and saying, hey, you didn't do many patterns, mate. And then, okay, and there you go, nicely evenly spaced. And you can go direction two, you can do the exact same thing. Direction two, flip it around, distance, let's put in 50, oh, wow. It's gonna do it again, isn't it? Yep. And then uh, the total distance is going to be list parameters, width this time, minus open brackets. You don't have to list, you don't, I know it's H2, so I can type in H2 times two, close brackets, and then there you go. Nice and evenly spaced, and it's fully adaptive as well, so no matter what you do in the future, you can come into the board and you can say, right, well, the board's now 700 by whatever you want, mate. It doesn't matter. You can put 456. It doesn't matter. It can be any distance, and that'll just go whack, and it's always going to be nice and evenly spaced. So... That's how you create nice even patterns which are perfectly uniform spaced and they will be forever and a day until a kitten grows into a cat or something like that. Uh, but yeah, thanks to Lars for his cam video for Fusion 360, <laughs> which gives us the idea. Uh, no beef towards Lars whatsoever. I'm sure he just uh, did that in the interests of time. And it just gave me this idea, just uh, just these little triggers sort of happen and it gives you an idea for a video and uh, thanks to Lars for that. And uh, go check out Lars if you're interested in Fusion 360. He's got a far more videos on Fusion 360 than I have. Top notch bloke, his uh, twi channel's twice the size as mine and I'm not at all jealous of that. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next one. Toodoo!